This video goes over the initial setup tasks for the BACnet Flow Controller, or BFC, and details all other menu options. All content in this video is also available online in the BFC manual. The BFC controls airflow through a fan filter unit, or FFU, with EC motor. The set point can be adjusted either locally at the BFC, by an analog BAS input voltage, or via BACnet. In the event that conflicting set points are available, the BFC will look to the highest priority set point. The highest control priority is BACnet, followed by BAS and local. The BFC has an LED display that is navigated with a menu button and two arrow buttons. The LED display on the BFC constantly scrolls through readouts including firmware version, this is visible on initial startup only, current CFM, note this will only display if the constant flow motor program is selected, current pressure, ECM set point as a percentage of motor speed, unit status, which should display normal during typical operation, but may also display off, low pressure, or filter loaded, and control mode, which will be set to local, BAS, or BACnet, depending on the application. On initial setup of the BFC, the following tasks should be completed in this order. Input BACnet settings, if applicable, set ECM set point, and calibrate the filter. These tasks will be explained as we explore the BFC menu. To set the local ECM set point, use the arrow keys to adjust the set point from 0 to 100%. This should be done with the balancing team to confirm airflow rates. This can also be done over BACnet or using a signal from the BAS system. To enter the main menu, press the menu button. Within the main menu, the following options are available. Filter load. This read-only value displays the percent of filter loading based on the initial clean pressure drop. ECM speed. This read-only value displays the motor RPM. Local ECM. Displays the local ECM set point. To change the set point, press the menu button and use the arrow keys to adjust the set point. Press the menu button again to save. If using BAS or BACnet control, this variable will display local ECM overridden. Local dimming displays the dimming set point for ultra FFU units. Press the menu button and use the arrow keys to change the set point. Press menu again to save. MAC address and device instance. To exit the main menu, press the menu button when instructed on the LCD screen. To enter the service menu, hold down the menu button for 5 seconds, then enter the passcode, down, up, up, down. There are 5 submenus available that we will go through in this video. To enter a menu, press the menu button, then use the arrows to navigate. To exit each menu, press the menu button when instructed on the LCD screen. Within the fan menu, the following options are available. Unit style is factory set for return or supply. Unit size is factory set for 2x2, 2x3, or 2x4 module size. Wheel type is factory set to forward curved or backward curved. Voltage type is factory set for 115, 208 to 240, or 277 volts. Motor program is factory set for constant flow or constant torque. This can be changed in the field if required. Please refer to the FFU manual as some changes to the motor harness are required when the motor program is changed. Motor runtime. This read-only variable displays the number of hours since last reset. Reset motor runtime allows the motor runtime hours to be reset. This should only be done if the motor has been replaced. CFM offset and CFM tweak. These variables are only available with the constant flow motor program. They can be used to adjust the CFM readout after balancing. This is required when the calculated flow rate does not match the flow rate measured by the balancer. CFM offset uses a static offset or adder, while CFM tweak makes use of a fractional difference. CFM tweak is most useful if the set point may change in the future. 
ECM setback is a secondary set point intended for use in turndown or low activity applications when the required flow rate is reduced. This set point is activated upon closure of the binary contacts. Please refer to the BFC manual for additional details. Within the filter menu, the following options are available. Filter type. This is factory set for benchtop replaceable or roomside removable. Filter load. This read-only value displays the percent of filter loading based on the initial clean pressure drop. Load trip is used for calculating filter loading. This factory set variable is preset for 1.5 times the clean static pressure. Filter runtime. This read-only variable displays the number of hours since the filter was last reset. Reset filter is used for calibrating the filter during initial setup or upon filter replacement. Within the input-output menu, the following options are available. BAS AI1. When the BFC is controlled by a BAS, AI1 will display the current BAS control voltage for motor speed. AI2, or BAS LED, displays the input voltage for LED lighting control. AI2 is only applicable on ultra FFU units. Contact closure. This read-only variable displays whether or not the contact closure has been activated for ECM setback. AO1, AO2, and AO3 usage are analog outputs that can be configured to report one of the following variables to a BAS system. Unit pressure, CFM, RPM, filter load, LED on-off and dimming, or the analog outputs can be disabled. AO1, AO2, and AO3 present value report the values from AO1, AO2, and AO3 usage, respectively. Within the BACnet menu, the following options are available. MAC address, device instance, baud rate, RS485 termination, and restore BACnet defaults, which can be used to reset all BACnet variables to factory default values. In the event that you are using BACnet in your application, these values will need to be set upon initial setup as they are all specific to your building automation and BACnet system. These values should be available from your controls contractor. Within the diagnostics menu, the following options are available. Total device reset. Fully resets the device, removing all information. This function should only be used under the guidance of a price application specialist. Restore factory configuration restores all factory default settings. Note that neither of these functions affect the BACnet settings. The BFC is also available with a service tool for installations with limited access to the control box. The service tool connects to the RJ12 port on the BFC to allow full control from up to six feet away from the control panel. That concludes the BFC controller service menu. For more information and a full manual on the BFC, please visit us online at pricecriticalenvironments.com.